And it was an eight year battle for the Home Office uh, to get Abu Qatada uh, deported to Jordan to face these two very serious charges uh, related to uh, a terrorism plot in 1998, which was going to target uh, hotels in Amman, and then what is known as the Millennium Bomb Plot, which was targeting Israeli and American tourists around the celebrations of the millennium. That was the final charge uh, that he was awaiting verdict on today here in Amman. And the judge said there was simply not enough evidence to convict him. Now, both of those charges, uh, Abu Qatada was convicted of in absentia back in uh, 2000, but he evaded Jordanian justice then as a result of the refugee status he'd been given after claiming asylum in the UK. He lost that refugee status in 2002, uh, and the UK government arrested him on various uh, uh, terrorism charges, but they were never able to bring uh, full charges against him. He never faced terrorism uh, charges in a court of law in the UK. Instead, he was held uh, under uh, indefinite um, detention orders, under control orders. Uh, but no, the UK government were never able to get enough evidence to prove uh, in a court of law what they uh, often referred to him as, which he was Osama bin Laden's right-hand man uh, in Europe. Well, it seems uh, that once the deal was cut to get Abu Qatada uh, deported back to Jordan, which involved a uh, pledge from the Jordanians that they would not use any evidence in these trials uh, that may have been obtained uh, using torture, uh, that they came up against exactly the same problem as the UK authorities. The judge here today said there was simply not enough uh, evidence to convict Abu Qatada on those terrorism charges related to the so-called uh, Millennium Bomb Plot and said that he should be released immediately.